Viva Las Vegas 2025. Oh, that's soon. Everything's on fire. Revolving, revolting cocktail. What? Robots. Vault 21. Oh, that looks bad. That looks, that looks real bad. Welcome to New Vegas. I just need <coughs> Oh. Ooh, are we doing a stakeout? There's a cow. I don't know what any of these factions are. Um, are they digging my grave? War. War never changes. Is that is that where this comes from? No. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. Okay. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn. Training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig. You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18-carat run of bad luck. Yeah. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Sorry, that was way too loud. I spent so much time editing the audio and it was fine. And now it's a problem. I'm annoyed. Uh, I'm so sorry about that. What? <laughs> All right.
I'm, uh, I have to fix this in game now. It's so annoying. <sighs> Classic pack items. Oh, I got all the DLC for the game. Mercenary pack items. Tribal pack items. Caravan pack items added. New inventory. All right, now it's not so loud anymore. What the hell? Whoa, easy there. Easy. Sorry, it's not it's not broken. I'm just editing settings. All right, hopefully that fixes it. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? How did I survive getting shot in the head? <laughs> Voice is a little quiet now. All right. Um, I guess that opening was just really loud because when I balanced this, um, when I balanced this before stream started, everything was perfectly balanced. Um, so I'm really sorry. I didn't expect that cinematic to get as loud as it did. Um, Let's just go do that. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. Yeah, Clara's a perfectly good name, sir. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. Thank you. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Okay. Let's look at the presets. That's a big forehead. It's fun to look at presets because it makes everything easier at the get-go. But I think I'll just customize. What is this? Okay. This is a really cool way to start um, character creation for sure. Being like, hey, I had to do surgery on your Nagarino there. So let's see. All right, effects are a little loud. So let me lower those a bit. All right, let me know if the effects are still too loud. <laughs> Clara Giga Chad went, no, I like doing good character creation. I don't want to spend forever in here though. What is this? Skin tone? Yeah, that's accurate enough. That's just the color of the nose, I guess. Was that the size? I like doing good character creation. <laughs> Honey, you're playing the wrong game. <laughs> Look, I. Oh, blue. Okay. Um. This is how I changed the size of everything. All right, let me just change. I don't think I'm going to do much more. Uh, air. Where do I find the hair options? I feel silly. I'm afraid if I hit next. Oh, okay. I was afraid it was going to like confirm it all. Oh, what the hell? Um That's very corporate. Who has who has the ability to do their hair like that in the post-apocalypse? Oh, that's sick. Mohawk. There we go. Um. Mangy. <laughs> wow, what is with all of this? These hair options are really interesting. You have, like, extremely styled hair. No hair. 
and extremely unruly hair, and there's not much in between, and I think that's kind of goofy. Um, none of these are great, but it's also the post-apocalypse, so that kind of makes sense. Um, these are all shorter, right? None of these are particularly flattering. I'm gonna be real with you, if I was in the post-apocalypse, I'd probably just shave my head, but I think I'll just go for this. My hair is short. I think it works. Um... Oh, I gotta do RGB? Oh, God. Uh... I'm not used to doing hair color this way. I'm used to, like, primary colors, right? Uh... Can I get a lighter blonde? Without it being too... saturated? 120, 120, zero? Thank you! Oh, wait, does it have... Oh, duh, it's got presets. Well, let's just do that. That's that's good enough. <laughs> Thank you, Ara. Ara, I wanted to do another toggle where I'd have a weapon in my hand, but I didn't have any more toggles to do that with. <laughs> like, I don't have any more buttons. Yeah, it's me. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Well, thanks for helping me, Doc. That was sweet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. That little slot machine Take thing? It slow now. It ain't a race. I'm gonna be honest, these graphics have aged very nicely. This game came out in like 2009, right? Looking good so far. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. Alright, I wanna create a save. Cool. Doc is good people. <laughs> what weapon would you- I would have had a, a blade. Like a big old blade. <laughs> Koso, thank you! Oh god, okay. Um... You only have so many stats, right? when you're doing this. Oh, God. Uh, I hate having to do this in games because I've never played the game, so I don't know what stats I want to go for. Um... Don't really know what kind of build I want. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Luck affects all skills, critical hits, and enemy mishaps. Agility affects gun, sneak, speed, action point, regeneration. Intelligence affects science repair, medicine, and skill points. Charisma affects barter, speech, companion, and nerve. I think I want to have a charisma build. Um, endurance affects unarmed health, resistance, and survival. Perception affects explosives, lockpick, energy weapons, accuracy, compass range. Strength affects melee, unarmed inventory weight, damage, weapon effectiveness. Uh, dump all points into luck. That's the thing. So I understand the basics, right? Like, I could go for a balanced build and just do, what, like, sixes across the board? Um... Another option is to D&D &D it and have some stats be dump stats. Um, luck helps with gambling. I have no interest in gambling. Do I have to do gambling? I think I want to go for... Because I'm playing this for the story, I think I'm going to go for intelligence and charisma. 
because I want to be able to solve things um, non-violently. And I also want to be able to like hack computers and stuff. So, but how much do I put into those compared to everything else? That, this is a genuine question for y'all. Like, do I do like 10 charisma, 10 intelligence? I, yeah, I know that zero intelligence is a thing and you can get some unique dialogue for it, which is really funny, but. Gambling really only works if your luck is a 10. If not, there's no point in trying. I really don't want to. Uh, max intelligence. Intelligence determines how much experience you get. Dang. Um. Uh, I don't know what to take away from. You can get more stats later. Okay. Um. I'm not usually good at Rudy Tootie point and shooties. I do kind of like being able to sneak. So maybe I go in a little bit on intelligence. But. If you don't plan on doing, I mean, I don't think I can avoid combat. I don't want to go in on, on less luck because I feel like that's a little risky. Um. It, I might go a little lower in endurance. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do a character build. This Clara is a big old nerd with no... Uh, oh, God. Wrong button. Uh, I think I'm going to go all in on intelligence. And I think I'm going to reduce endurance a little bit. Because I don't think she's going to be super strong. Um, Is it a horrible idea to also go in less on strength? Your guns and weapons and armor needs repairs after a while. Got it. Luck is a good dump stat. But like, I'm... So I don't want to do a lot of firefights, but I imagine I'm going to have to. Strength affects your carry weight. That's... I don't plan on... I don't like lug stuff around that much, though. I didn't mean to do that. Look at that was the wrong... This is why I saved. This is why I saved. I clicked the wrong button. Okay, this is why you save, y'all. Um. <laughs> yeah, strength affects carry weight, but I can get points in it later, right? How does this feel? <laughs> Low strength, less parents carrying ability. Lower luck, are you sure? I guess one lower isn't bad. And then do this spread. Don't start with a max stat. Can you not max beyond 10? I don't need speed. What if I want to be speed? <laughs> Aura, please don't clear chat. <laughs> Some things need stats for you to use them, like armor or weapons. Ah, okay. There's items that bump them up to max. They'll be wasted if you start with max. Oh, so should I just put it at like eight or nine and then I can be a little bit more balanced? Thank you all so much for helping me with this because I totally maybe forgot to look this up before stream. <laughs> Usually if I'm playing a game with stat spreads, I'll like try and come up with a build before I play it and I just forgot. Go at nine at the lowest for intelligence and then I guess I'll put endurance at five and then we'll do that spread. I'm just a little smarty pants. Uh, what, what am I called? Courier? Smarty Pants Courier, I guess. How do we feel about the stat spread? Does this feel like I I will be okay? Also, how are we on the audio balance now for the game? Thank you for head hats. Thank you, thank you. You can start with fives and eights and be able to beat it. I'm not worried about that. 
Um, I think I'll take one out of endurance and put that into luck. So luck isn't so low. I think this is my final spread. I'm going to do five strength, five perception, four endurance, seven charisma, nine intelligence, five agility, and five luck. I think that feels pretty good. Luck doesn't do much. Doesn't it determine if I, like, hit things? That feels kind of important. I'm going to just do this. I've never played before. I'm not worried about min-maxing. Um, I can always make it an easier game <laughs> if I start struggling. <laughs> so... Yeah, luck is if you quit things. Yeah, sorry, I was misspeaking. Yes, perception handles accuracy, but luck still affects crit hits, and I feel like that's kind of useful. I don't know. I can always regret it. It's fine. I confirm. Look at that. Maybe them bullets done your brain some good. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a big horn of dropping. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. Okay. To jump, push Y. Grab an object and look at it. Hold down the right stick. That doesn't steal it, right? That just looks at it. Might. Get anything here? Oh, that's how I do it. Okay. Um. Oh, I am not wearing clothes. <laughs> All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Why? Okay, without spoiling, does this matter? Does this, like, determine anything in the game? No? Okay. Honestly, he said dog, I thought cat. So I'm going to go for that. <laughs> House. Cozy? Shelter? Burglarize? Renovate? Shelter. <laughs> Night. Day. No? Okay. Campfire, dream, shroud. I guess dream. Bandit. Mean. Bribe, crush, stab. I'm going with bribe. Light. Dark. I'm simple. Mother. Uh. Mother. Caretaker, jeans, or cookie jar. I don't love those options. <laughs> oh, there's more? Oh, human shield? Regret, tattle, tantrum. I don't love these options. I, I don't love these options for a very different reason. Um, I'm going to go cookie jar, I guess. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Yeah, that's a 10 out of 10. Okay, serious question. What is the point of this quiz then? If it's... If it... Look, skill bases? Stats? But I already did my stats. So why am I doing this quiz? Oh, you can change them. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Tragically, this is true. It's not that I don't want to. I'm just bad at it. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. But I don't like it. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Not true. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Nope. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. A s shovel? A broken chain, a chemical reaction, a shadow in a door frame, an oozing wound, an angry two-headed ant. I didn't see any of that. Um is shadow in a door frame. Okay. How about this one? Uh If I squint my eyes, it looks like a blob. So I don't really know what to make of it. Box, hello, welcome in. Um, I don't... A priceless work of art, uh, some space-age technology, a ship at sea. I'm too embarrassed to say what it looks like. I think it does look like a ship. Last one. Looks like people high-fiving and dancing. Right? Like they're both squatting 
and high-fiving each other. A head on a pillow, a mushroom crowd, a bearded man, a light in the darkness. Hold on, let me put my glasses on. That's a good point. <laughs> it looks like two bears high-fiving. That's not an option. It's absolutely two bears high-fiving, and I, that's, I don't have that as a choice. So I'm gonna go with a bearded man, I guess. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Okay. So these are all skills. Barter. The barter skill affects the prices you get for buying and selling items. In general, the higher your barter skill, the lower your prices on purchased items. The energy weapon skill determines your effectiveness with any weapon that uses small energy cells, microfusion cells, EC packs, or flame or fuel as ammunition. Thank you for the follow, Derenicus. The explosive skill determines the ease of disarm disarming any hostile mines and the effectiveness of any explosive weapon, all mines, all grenades, missile launcher, fat man, etc. Guns determine your effectiveness with any weapon that uses conventional ammunition. The lockpick skill is used to open locked containers and doors. The medicine skill determines how many hit points you'll replenish upon using a stim pack and the effectiveness of Radex and Radaway. The melee weapon skill determines your effectiveness with any melee weapon from this simple lead pipe all the way up to the higher tech super sledge. The repair skill allows you to maintain any weapons and apparel. In addition, repair allows you to create items and guns ammunition at reloading benches. Science skill represents your combined scientific knowledge and is primarily used to hack restricted terminal computer terminals. It can be used to recycle energy weapon ammunition. I think I want to keep that. Sneak. The higher your sneak skill, the easier it is to remain undetected, steal an item, or pick someone's pocket. Successfully attacking while undetected grants an automatic critical hit. Speech skill governs how much you can influence someone through dialogue and gain access to information they might otherwise not want to share. Survival skill increases the hit points you receive from food and drink. It also helps you create consumables, consumables at campfires. The unarmed skill is used for fighting without a weapon. Okay. I think I want to go for speech and science. Um... What's funny is in the DLC, they name a character that because people wanted two bears high-fiving. <laughs> That's amazing. Um. Okay, so I have a question for you all. Oh, medicine. That's a really good point. I'm going to need that a lot. I kind of want lockpick too. My science skill was already pretty high. And my lockpick skill is not. So, would it be smarter to go in on lockpick or to go in on science? Hmm. It's hard to have only three. Barter uh, handles selling and buying things. Um, I do like sneaking a lot to... That's what I was thinking, Oddball. I was thinking if you tag the low stats, it's the best bat best bet because like let me take everything off. This is these are my raw stat distributions. Let's do that, right? Um I'm thinking raw stats wise, my highest stats are repair, science, and medicine already. Um, so I'm thinking I might go for lockpick and sneak. And do I need survival? I don't know if that's useful or not. Um, and maybe speech just to bring that up from 19, but I think this is the, this is what I want to do. Does this feel like a good idea? Cause like my medicine's already pretty high and my science and repair are already pretty high. Super survival's not super helpful. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I'll be able to get more skills in the future, right? Yeah, I can increase it later, so I'm not... This is just to start out. And I think for starting out, if I want to go for, like, a narrative gameplay, then I want to be able to not get hit, talk to people, and break into places I might not supposed to be in. 
I think this I think this is good. I should save again though. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I'm just gonna save again. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. <laughs> Choose up to two traits or none. Oh, these are a lot of traits. Um, built to destroy. The flamer that burns twice as bright burns half as long. All weapons have a plus 3% chance to critically hit. Equipment, equipment decays now. Claustrophobia. You have a fear of enclosed spaces. You get plus one to special attributes when outside, but suffer minus one when indoors. Early bird. Enjoy a plus two of each of your special attributes from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m., but suffer a negative one from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Oh, that sucks. Huh. While using guns and energy weapons, you fire 20% more quickly, but your shots are less accurate. While wearing any type of glasses, you have plus one personality. Without glasses, you have minus one personality. <laughs> Wild Wasteland is a must. Unleashes the most bizarre and silly elements of post-apocalyptic America, not for the faint of heart or the series of temperament. What does that mean? Oh, perception. What did I say? Oh, God. Personality. My bad. What? What what does Wild Wasteland do? What does this actually do though? Gives you unique events. Is this is this like DLC? Take it. I look, I'm gonna trust y'all. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Um, what would y'all recommend? There's a lot on this list. I kind of want to get the glasses one because I think it's funny, but um, you gain plus 25 pounds to your carrying capacity, but suffer minus one to all attributes. Anytime your carrying weight drops below 160 pounds. <laughs> skilled? You're skilled, but not experienced. You gain plus five points to every skill, but you suffer a negative 10% from experience gained from now on. Ah, uh, hmm. Kamikaze, you have 10 plus 10 action points, but your reckless nature has you neck cause you to have a negative two damage threshold. Uh good natured. You're good natured at heart. You're more prone to solving problems with your mind than violence. You get gain plus five to barter, medicine, repair, science, and speech, but have negative five to energy weapons, explosives, guns, melee, and unarmed. That'd be really fun for, like, a pacifist playthrough. I like that. I think I kind of want to grab four eyes, which is going to make the start of the game hard. But I kind of like it. Good natured is also kind of fun. I'm scared to try this as a first time player, though. Trigger discipline. While using guns and energy weapons, you fire slowly, but are more accurate. I don't know if I mind that, actually. I think four eyes fits me a little too well, so I do want to grab it. Um, I don't know. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know if I want to use Wild Wasteland for my first playthrough. Embrace unpredictability. <laughs> small frame is funny. Due to your small size, you have plus one agility, but your limbs are more easily crippled. <laughs> that seems a little too, too dangerous. It just has old movie references. Oh, I don't know movies that are old. <laughs> you can pull off a pacifist run by ironically maxing out unarmed to push everything down. <laughs> I think I'm going to try trigger discipline. Helps because even 95% accurate shots will miss up close most of the time. Yeah, let's try that. That feels like balanced for a player's first time. Because I could always replay it as like a homicidal maniac. I don't know old movies. I'm gonna be, I don't even know recent movies. So like, <laughs> I think that would be kind of lost on me. I think I'm gonna go for this. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Oh, I'm just, I, you're gonna send me out naked? I don't even have shoes. 
like look i don't want to sound ungrateful you literally saved me from a mortal injury but i i i would also like to not be walking out naked yeah i have to wear glasses otherwise i take a negative hit to my perception can i read it I just want to read the pre-war book. Oh, I'm, I'm ruining your bookshelf. I'm sorry. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. Oh, thank you. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Okay. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. No. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack and modesty. It was my wife's. Oh. I think she was about your size, and she hardly wore it after we left the vault. Felt it was too brazen. Uh, yeah, thanks for patching me up, Doc. He's so nice. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Yeah, that's the goal. Fallout New Vegas allows you to play in a new hardcore mode that greatly increases the challenge of the game. In this mode, stim packs heal over time. What the heck? Pocket Potato, thank you for the primary On sub. break at work, but wanted to resub love the streams, Clara. Thank you so much. I hope work treats you well. I, <laughs> I hope you're having a good day. Thank you. See you. <laughs> See you woke up with a small case of lead poisoning. <laughs> Uh, in this mode, stim packs heal over time and cannot mend broken limbs right away. Removes radiation over time. Ammunition has weight. Um, yeah, I don't want to do that. That looks like it's hard. And I've never played the game before. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Ain't that a kick in the head? I do want to explore his house. Just to see. So he's just a, a doctor in this little area? Oh, I should put on clothes. Um, okay, this is how I open my pit boy. Um, apparel can consist of many different types of gear, ranging from clothing and armor to sunglasses and hats. DT. Some apparel grants damage threshold to the wearer. Your DT is the sum of all DT for currently equipped apparel, plus any bonuses from perks or chems. Damage threshold is directly subtracted from incoming damage, so a higher DT provides superior protection. Though a small percentage of damage can get through even the thickest of armor, a high DT is quite valuable. Apparel's condition affects how much protection it provides. Apparel above 50% condition provides maximum protection and only needs to be maintained. Light, medium, heavy. Medium and heavy apparel will slow characters down when equipped. Repair this option opens the repair submenu, which allows apparel to be repaired by salvaging parts from similar items. Okay. Um. Vault 21 jumpsuit. Armored Vault 13 jumpsuit. Lightweight leather armor, lightweight metal armor, or tribal raiding armor. Smelly Man, hello! I literally just started playing. Um, I think it's been pretty interesting. I will say I'm really impressed with how well the graphics have aged considering this came out a long time ago. Um, yeah, so these are DLC. It feels a little cheaty to wear them. Um. Oh, I'm gonna keep this because it gives me plus two to speech. Doctor's bag, stim pack, hair kit, canteen, bobby pin, Ammunition is used by almost all guns and energy weapons, but is sometimes used by other weapon types. Basic ammo types have no special effects, but ammo subtypes may increase damage, reduce an enemy's damage threshold, or even decrease a weapon's spread. Effects are listed on the ammo submenu. Got it. Most weapons can use any ammo subtype, and that starts with the same name as the base ammo. Common ammo subtypes include armor piercing. 
Ignores a large portion of the enemy's damage threshold, does slightly more damage. Hollow Point does much more damage, but is easily blocked by armor. Overcharge, used by energy weapons, increases damage, but degrades the weapon more quickly. Slug, used by shotguns. To switch, equip them in this menu outside of the Pip-Boy. Press 2 to cycle through on your equipped weapon. I don't want to use guns a lot. I'm not good at Rudy 2D point and shooties. Um, throwing spear, sturdy caravan shotgun, mercenaries grenade rifle, broad machete, binoculars, pistol. I'm gonna just equip the pistol, I guess. I need to buy glasses. Tune? Oh, it just turns it on. Oh, this is a quest. Oh, no. Yeah, this is a quest note. Instructions. Deliver the package at the north entrance of the Vegas Strip by way of the free side. An agent of the recipient will meet you at the checkpoint, take possession of the package, and pay for the delivery. Bring the payment to Johnson Nash at the Mojave Express Agency in Prim. Bonus on completion, 250 caps. Manifest. This package contains one oversized poker chip composed of platinum. Contract penalties. You are an authorized agent of the Mojave Express package until the delivery is complete and payment has been processed. Contractually obligated to complete this transaction and materially responsible for any malfeasance or loss. Failure to deliver may result in forfeiture of your advance and bonus, criminal charges, and or pursuit by mercenary reclamation teams. The Mojave Express is not responsible for any, any injury or loss of life you experience as a result of said reclamation efforts. Okay, so quests. Talk to Sunny. They went that away. Inquire about your delivery assignment. Talk to Victor about your rescue. Find the men who tried to kill you. World map, local map. Okay. I. Oh, the radio music might be copyrighted. Ugh. Dang it. Um. No radio. I've heard so much about how good the radio is in this game. Uh, when you take the pack rat, oh, whoa, whoa, it's bright, ow. Old World Blues, you've gotten a fragmented signal on your Pip-Boy, a coded transmission of some sort of sad, jazzy undercurrent that makes your head hurt. As far as you can tell, it appears to be an invitation to the midnight science fiction feature at the Mojave Drive-In. Please arrive early to catch the trailers. Old World Blues has been loaded. Your level cap has been raised by five. The reunion. Your pit boy received a signal. Coordinates that lead to the canyon wreckage east of Prim. Oh, these are all like DLC stuff. I'm going to just skip all of that. They won't DMCA you for the music in this game? Are you sure? So Doc lives all alone? Because his wife is gone? That's sad. Was this your backyard? Gunrunner's arsenal. I don't want to do that. I uh, jump. I want to jump into his backyard. I don't want that. Pick maze. It's considered stealing if I pick his horn. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, wait. Wrong button. There we go. <laughs> Can I harvest this? No, it's just a plant. Okay. Um, what the hell? Oh, is that a bird? I thought it was a flying robot. <laughs> I thought it was a scary robot. Vending machine? A bullet vending machine? No. Sunset Sarsparilla. Never mind. I thought I'm looking at my inventory. Love how Bethesda Gaze always bombard you with DLC stuff as soon as the tutorial is over. <laughs> okay, never mind. I thought it, it was a vending machine for bullets. It's not. It's for sodi pop. Oh, it does storm in my mouth. Uh, where am I? Good Springs gas station. So let's just follow the road, I guess. Also gonna save again, because I'm paranoid. Thank you for the hydrate. 
man i'm i'm a, again i'm very impressed with how these graphics have aged considering this game is like over a decade old there's a person can i look at myself while i'm outside i don't know how to do that hello who are you good spring settler howdy okay you're just a guy um i guess that's just a house what the hell is this? Is that a big goat? Big horner? It doesn't look right. Oh, because the fallout happened. Okay. Um, oh, nope. Can't go in your house. Whoop. I think freaks me out. <laughs> Kaze, the fact that you're restraining yourself means a lot. Ooh, Prospector Saloon. Wow. Activate. Did I just use the toilet? No. Okay. I thought I just peed on the floor. <laughs> it won't hurt you unless you get close to its young or hurt it. Got it. I can't believe I remember when this game came out. I feel old. <laughs> You're not old. I remember Broford played this game, and I just, I don't know, I was never really into post-apocalypse stuff, so I didn't really bother trying it out. Jukebox. Ooh, pool table. Oh, uh, I don't, I'm sorry for knocking your stuff around. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Is that a dog? Clara, you just drank toilet water. Oh, I drank it? I'm a dog, that's fine. Look, toilet water comes from the same water line as tap water. What's the difference? Lap it up. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Irradiated toilet water? And I, dude, what's a little radiation amongst friends? Let's talk about the areas around Good Springs. What do you do here? A little short on caps. I need to get to Prim. Yeah, Doc Mitchell said you could teach me how to survive. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Yeah. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Okay. <gasps> Your dog is so cute. Can I pet the dog? Howdy. Who the hell said howdy? I don't see anyone else in here. A toilet's just a very dirty cup. I mean, it's not that dirty. Oh, did you say howdy? I guess you said howdy. That Doc Mitchell sure knows his stuff, doesn't he? Yeah. That's another bathroom. Is this the way I came in? Oh, it's a big circle. Oh, storage room. <gasps> I want to read the terminal, but I don't want to get in trouble. Science of 25. Dang it. Mine's 23. Ugh. Okay, never mind. There's bacteria in there that eat metal and bones. I don't have bones. I'm slightly inorganic. It's fine. <laughs> don't make me get the newspaper. No, leave my head alone. Um. Oh, there's the main door. Easy Pete. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? What makes you easy? Why are you called Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now I'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. What's the NCR? Don't get me wrong. The NCR. Oh, New California Republic. Folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. Easy Pete the legend! <laughs> Locks and terminals are at levels 25, 50, and 75. Aw, oh, god dang it. Uh, what kind of prospector were you? Nah, nah. Means I poked through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, 
near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Okay. So... Yeah, so he basically just scavenges for tech. All right, that's respectable. I hope y'all don't mind. I don't know anything about this game, so I'm going to be doing a lot of questioning. I don't know what the Legion There's does. Slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back, and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. Why is what's so important about the dam? Is it because of the water access? The dam powers a lot of New Vegas, and then oh. there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. Got it. Um, yeah, do you know anything about what happened to me? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots, as as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though, if you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Okay. Oh yeah, no, it sounds, it sounds not, the Legion does not sound good. The, the Legion's already sounded pretty not good. I like how New Vegas implies that once the apocalypse happens, we revert to cowboy times. Can you, did you ever find anything good while prospecting? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. What do you use the big horners for? Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. That's adorable. You find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but got to be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. Okay. You know anything about Victor? The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something. But I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Oh, Victor's a robot? Oh, well, thanks, Pete. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. I don't want to fight critters. No. That sounds bad. Oh, can I steal that? Or is it just all toppled over? Um. Okie dokie. What else is in town? Broken house. You're a person. Are you an NPC or are you just a... Do you have a name? Yeah. Nope, you're just a settler. Okay. Um, I'm surprised a stop sign has weathered the apocalypse. I'm, I'm lost. Oh, I need to be going this way. I think. Yeah, okay, I'm going I'm going the wrong way. I'm honestly impressed that the roads are holding up as well as they are considering it's been like a hundred, two hundred years. What year did the bombs drop in this game? 2045, 20, 20, 20, 20, 25? I don't I don't know. I don't have a lot of money, but I figure I'll get to know you, Chet. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps, if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Got it. Oh, 2077. Okay, I was super wrong. Same year as Cyberpunk. Got it. My favorite aspects of Fallout lore is seeing society thrive rather than survive again. I think it's been interesting so far. Do you know anything about who attacked me? The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him. Probably hired guns. 
The Great Khans normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Have you ever been to New Vegas? Twice. Both times I drank a lot of liquor and lost most of my caps at the card tables. In that order, now that I think about it. <laughs> if you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to visit Gamora. It's the best casino in the city. You won't regret it. I don't gamble. Word of advice, behave. Between the NCR military police and Mr. House's robots, you don't want to be causing trouble on the strip. Okay. In Fallout 1 and 2, you get around in a car, but the only reason you don't drive in the newer game is because the game engine can't handle it. That makes sense. Yeah, what's up with Mr. House? I'm afraid I don't know much myself. Mr. House has got his own casino, Lucky 38, but nobody goes in or out except his robots. The other casinos follow Mr. House's rules, so I guess that makes him the leader of New Vegas. As far as I know, nobody's ever laid eyes on the guy. Hmm. I think that robot who pulled you out of the dirt belongs to Mr. House. If Mr. House is looking after you, it's got to be a good thing, right? No. I don't know if I... I don't... That's a little suspicious. Fallout 4 is 200 years later? Wow, okay. New Vegas is set in 2281. Oh, okay, so it's been a lot of time. I turned my luck to 10 when I played this. I never gambled. I just got money. What can you tell me about the great cons? They're tough sons of bitches. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The great cons deal in illegal chems. There's a good chance that most chems you come across were made by great cons. Okay, I don't want to buy anything because I don't have money. Um... Don't let me know if someone's good or bad. Let me find out for myself, please. <laughs> Mr. House is not played by you, Lori. That's the kind of spoiler I'm down with. Um... Sorry, these controls are a little funky. Um... Oh, I have to go behind the saloon. That's right. I forgot. Poor... Poor Sunny has just been standing out behind this building just waiting for me. I'm so sorry. That's so rude. Where'd, where'd you go? There you are. <gasps> Dog! Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Everything all right? Until next... Uh, where on the fence? Which fence? Oh, there. Okay, she's facing them. How do I get my gun out? Oh! That's oh. the right idea. Look down the site. Oops. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. Nice. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Yeah. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Okay. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast of short ways. <gasps> Cheyenne, you're so cute. I love you. Can I sprint? Mr. House is your father. <laughs> I'm guessing Mr. House is also a robot if he has robots. Are caps like bottle caps? I believe in this franchise, the currency is bottle caps. Oh, I should also start saving more. Thank you for the reminder. Oh, okay. Everyone's either are good depending on your personal morals. <laughs> that's fair, that's true. Um Man you know what I think is an interesting challenge? How do you make a post-apocalyptic environment look interesting visually, right? And I think it's nice that they really, like, even though a lot of the colors are desaturated, I like that the sky is really pretty. This here? You hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos that clear out. Okay. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. You. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay. Am 
not seeing any geckos though. <gasps> Giant. Okay, you're on. Go give them hell. Me. Uh. I don't see anything. Oh, there's a red dot on my mini map. Does that mean there's a bad guy over here? Oh, what the hell? Why are they on two legs? Oh, I'm gonna be dead. I'm gonna be dead. Cheyenne, help. What is VATS? To enter VATS, press right bumper. Gecko hide, gecko meat. How do I... It's not working now. Um... Oh! Welcome to the Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System, or VATS. That's displays the chances you will hit along with the condition of each body part. Right trigger, attack your target. Left stick, change body parts. Right stick, change targets. The number of actions you can make is limited by your action points. Well, I don't want to shoot you because you're a friend. Okay. How do I put my gun away? See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Sure. I need to figure Should out how that works. Couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Uh Unequip what? Oh, nope, nope. Is there friendly fire? I don't want to shoot the dog. Oh, my AP's low. Oh, I got it. Okay, there is friendly fire. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. I don't want to kill the dog. But I do want to take all your junk. Because maybe I can sell it for something. You take a sip from your trusty vault 13 canteen. Why did I just take a drink? Where did Cheyenne go? Hold on. I... This way? Diane! Guessing this is it? You're gonna see that message a lot? Am I supposed to refill it? I'm detected! By what? Is this the right way? I'm so lost. Come on. Oh, I did go the right way. Oh, I got scared. I don't think I have enough distance. Oh, God. I don't like that these geckos move bipedally. Ho, 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 ho. Headshot. Headshot. Low on action points. How did they... Is Cheyenne dead? <gasps> no! No! D the dog can die? No! No! 
No! How? How? What? No! No! What? No. No, no, we not- No! I'm not doing this. <laughs> Thank you for the ad break. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna run a quick, quick little ad so y'all don't get hit with them again in the future. And then I'm just reloading an earlier save because we're not doing this. I'm not letting the dog die. I refuse. I'm gonna run a quick ad. The dog is a companion. What do you mean? I'm actually gonna take a quick snack break. God dang it. Of course I'm rewinding time. Are you joking? I gotta make sure I'm doing more regular saves. Oh, it's technically not your companion. That's so upsetting, though. All right, well, I'm reloading my save. Okay. I cannot let the dog die. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I'm gonna have- well, now that I know how vats works, I can hopefully make it so that the lizards die before they touch the dog. Melee attacks work against geckos. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't have any of the stats for that to go well. Jump. Thank you for the head pats. <sighs> Hear that up on the ridge behind me then? Yes, yes, yes. Now I know where they are. So this all goes well. Are we going to do a full playthrough? I think so. Oh, too far. Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. Um... They detected me. I need them to get a little bit closer. There we go. Do I have any more action points? I don't think so. Oh! There we go. Oh, if you shoot their legs, they'll move slower. That's smart. I got a gecko egg. Yum. You can queue up multiple shots. Oh, thank you. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. Yes. Oh, I need to reload. How do I reload? There we go. <laughs> Orion, hello! Welcome in! Oh, God. I can't let this dog die. I have a mission. more than one action thing. Can't figure out how to queue up more than one. Oh, you need more action points? Got it. 
God dang it. This is why I loaded or saved. I'm gonna get the one in the back so that Sunny can take out the one that's closer. I took too many action points. I'm bad at aiming! Oh, God. Y'all know what I have to do, right? Because I know what I have to do. What I have to do is fight them before Sunny gets here. Who the hell is this? Oh, it's a settler. Well, I would like for you to live. So... My aim's bad. I'm sorry, settler. I'm not helping you at all. I did it. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. No, your dog almost died. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Ooh, 50 bottle caps. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Yeah. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Oh, but the schoolhouse is spooky. We'll get cooking. Uh, how do I put my gun away? Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you've done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Thanks, Orion. Thank you for the hint, Kaze. I'm using an Xbox controller. Ooh, reputation. You've established a reputation with a group of people in the wasteland. Whether that reputation is good or bad, you're finally somebody. And people associated with that group will start to react to what you've done. There are many different factions in the wasteland, and you can develop a distinct reputation with each one. I love that. As you perform actions that benefit a group, you will gain fame. If your actions, per if you perform actions that harm a group, you will gain infamy. Your reputation with any given group is a measure of the combined total of fame and infamy that you've earned. The benefits and drawbacks of any given reputation depend on the group itself. You may receive discounts with merchants, provoke attacks from hired thugs, or simply be treated differently. Accepted. Folks have come to accept you for your helpful nature in Good Springs. Yay! Hold X. Oh, to hold the reload button to holster. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. I don't want to be waving a gun around. Okay, so I have to go find plants and stuff. Only other game franchise I've played that had that was Mercenaries. Um, to a lesser extent, Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind has a fame and infamy system, but it's more so like... As you complete quests and join certain factions, other factions... Well, yeah, I guess it is the same, because other factions have a different opinion. Like, if you join the Tribunal, the Imperial Cult members don't tend to like you as much. Um... Alright, cool. So we'll go this way. Save. Also, Cheyenne didn't die, which was the most important. I can't let the dogs die. That... I cannot abide by it. <laughs> what kind of dog girl would I be if I let the dogs die? <laughs> and then hopefully I can sell these gecko guts for something. Wish we had more advanced AI. It would make the social aspects of single player games more enjoyable. I don't know. I hope like more games do the fame and infamy mechanic because it's nice when your actions have consequences. There's spookies. 
They detect me, but I don't see them. Oh! Oh, it's Victor! I was wondering where Victor was, but for now, I gotta fight stuff. Hello? Ew! Can I shoot through this fence? God, you're... Nope. Extremely gross. It sees me. It's mad. Ah! Ah! It has wings. Oh, it has wings. Ah. Rose. I don't want to go in the schoolhouse. If that's what's outside, I don't want to go inside. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to Victor and then I'm gonna harvest these plants. Hi, friend. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Well, thanks for taking me out of that grave. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. I am not a fan of bugs. No, not that big. In Fallout 3, the poor dog companion died so much they added a perk that let it respawn in a day or so. <laughs> That's nice. They aren't that bad. There's worse outside than in. I don't know. I'm scared. How did you find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Do you know who the people were who attacked me? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. How did you end up in Good Springs? I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. It's a little mysterious. Anyway. It's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. I've never seen a robot like you before. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Aw. Happy trails! I, I was told to talk to Victor, but Victor didn't really tell me much. I've got a mod in stock that marks companions as essential. That's smart. Um. Where's the stuff I'm supposed to gather? Said to look around by the schoolhouse. Is it? Oh, Xanderoot. Man, that's teeny tiny. All right. Without saying anything else, I have a simple question. If you think I should go into the schoolhouse, type one in chat. If you think I should not walk into the schoolhouse, type two in chat. Oh no, okay. Okay. Fine, okay. I'm going in, I guess. Oh God. I don't like this. Eh. Ew. Caution. Why? Did I miss?
Why danger? Huh. Uh. God, I was right. I was right that there were more bugs. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Apply torque with the screwdriver, rotate the bobby pin, force the lock. When the torque is applied... Okay, so it's like the Skyrim system. Bottle cap, Mentats, pre-war money, Stealthy Boy. What is Stealth Boy? Plus 100 Sneak, plus 75 Stealth Field. Maybe it's friendly. What the hell is this? It turns you invisible for a short time? That's cool. Ooh! Terminal. Ken, thank you for the follow. Hello! Robco Industries, Unified Operating System, copyright 2075 to 2077. Processor. Uh. Uh. Can, can I do anything? It's a corruption error. It doesn't let me type anything. Oh, the computer could have been used to unlock the save. Oh, I thought it had secrets. All the scary's dead. I don't know. Thank you for head pat. I think all the scaries are dead. Do, do, do I want to be picking up all the scrap stuff? Like this empty bottle? Is there a reason to take that? Oh, take the magazine? Okay. Uh, gross. Um... What do I do with the magazine? Ugh. So many gross bugs. <laughs> Need it. Is that a bone? No, it's a pot. I got that. I thought that was a skeleton for a second. Oh, they give temporary boosts. Oh. That's kind of nice. Okay, so I'm gonna get the hell out of here. No more spookies. No more icky bugs, thank god. Blech. Why did y'all make me go in there? <laughs> I guess you didn't make me. I could have not gone, but still. Why would you have me do that? For our enjoyment. Well, I'm glad we know where we lie. <laughs> it was not good for me. It was scary. I don't like it. Yeah. Could it be possible to make this short hair its own redeem? Oh, um. I th think so. I don't know how to pull it off. I think, oh, I think I might know how to do it, but like, it's really difficult. <laughs> Am I supposed to refill my Vault 13 canteen? Because it keeps saying I'm taking sips from it. 
Oh, it's... <gasps> Why? What the hell? Did I not shoot it? Oh, my weapon's in low condition. Oh, god dang it. <gasps> Where do I repair it? I need a repair bench, right? Yeah, no kidding. The scorpions are dangerous. You see the size of that stinger? Oh, it just helps for survival mode. Got it. Um, how? Uh, items. Varmint rifle. Um. Uh, how do I repair it? You can compare it with kits or other rifles. Oh. So, remember that terminal in the Prospector Saloon? The Programmer's Digest gives me a Temp 10 plus science bonus. So I could break into that terminal. Would that make the people mad at me, though? I don't want them to be mad at me. Weapon repair kit. I would like to use this. Did it just automatically work? Only if you get caught. Mm. Wait, should I be trying a different weapon? Oh, it's a shotgun. I like having a rifle. I like being able to shoot things that are far away. Okay, so I'll lose karma if it's red. What if it's not red, though? There we go. I'm right here. Let me just go take a looky-loo. Oh, my repair skill's low. Got it. I don't want to punch stuff, because then I have to square up. Oh, no, it is red. Okay, I'm hidden. I'm going to save. I don't want to steal anything. I just want to know what's in here. You know? Like, I'm just curious. So I just need to... I just want to read. I'm not going to do anything with it. Okay. We're going to use this. Hacking. Some terminals are protected and can't be accessed without a password. If your side skill is high enough, you can attempt to hack the terminal. Thank you for the hydrate and the stretches. Selecting the correct password will grant you access. If your guess is incorrect, you'll be shown how many letters match the correct password in the correct location. You have four ties to guess correctly. If you fail, the terminal will remain inaccessible until you own the password. You can exit hacking at any time and try again. However, exiting the terminal will force the security to reset, delaying your ability to start hacking again. Okay. What? Set terminal slash inquire. Writ v300. Set file slash protection owner. Rwed accounts dot f. Set halt restart slash main t. Initializing. Run debug slash accounts. What in the fresh hell is this? What? what? Huh? I don't even know what I'm looking at. I would love a tip, White Lunar Wolf. What even? Guess the password lurking? Beeping, sealing, carried, minig, dealing, hissing, selling, quality. It'll give you hint. What hints is it giving me?
look for brackets? Huh? Uh, dud removed. I would love for you to spoil this. I'm so confused. I just don't understand how the puzzle works. Start with ceiling, because if any of those letters are correct. Three of seven are correct. But I don't know which ones. Maybe feeling? Same situation. So E, L, I, and G. So let's try lurking. It's ing. Beeping or setting? <laughs> I'm so confused by this. Oh, um... Oh, back out to reset. Got it. Okay. Um, so it's I and G. Testing, meeting, keeping, missing. Oh, no, it might have changed. Say fake passwords get removed when you find symbols between matching brackets and parentheses. It changes because it's not set. So then let's try driving so none of the ings are probably correct one justice uh visited i lost karma just by touching it wait only by touching it, you lose... I thought no one saw me. I don't want to... I don't want to lose karma. I, I want them to be my friend. God <laughs> Alright, well, I'm already in it. I'm already in too deep. Uh, I'll just have to do more good to outweigh it, I guess. I just want to know what it does. I just want to know what's in here. Fencing, contact, ranking... Okay, there's no bracket. ING's probably not it. Oops. Winterworld, thank you for the follow. Hello. I don't have to save this. I just want to know what it is. I want to know what's in here. Get the brackets. Okay. But I only have four guesses, so that's not really helping me much, because now I only have three guesses. Right? Like, if I did three sets of brackets, let's say, like, let's say I grab all the brackets, right? I'll grab a parentheses. Now I only have one guess left. So the only options are what? Routing. Not this one, not with one, not with this one, not this one. Packing is an option. Top line, second column, warrior? But there's more than one. I'm so confused. Thank you for the follow, hello. Hold on, I wanna master this, I wanna learn.
Are you talking about like these? Like the long ones? Allowance replenished. What the hell does that? What, what does allowance replenished mean? What do you mean? Yes. What does that mean? <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. What is it? It means your tries were reset. Can I do that multiple times or only once? Because that's useless to me if I have four tries already. <gasps> uh... Only once? Well, then it's useless! Oh my god. I, yeah, I appreciate the advanced knowledge, but I still don't understand the basics. I'm gonna have to, like, watch a tutorial on this. This is extremely confusing. Can I brute force it? How do I brute force it? Uh... Yeah, but if I just pick words, it's not gonna get me. Like, I only have two chances now. I know... Warring had three that are correct. Mounted had one that is correct. They don't have any of the same characters. Emo, the best way to do it is this. Pick a word at random. Use the clues to figure out the rest. One seventh with mounted means it has one letter in the same spot as mounted, but zero others. Oh, I misunderstood. I'll be honest, I just Go keep ahead. guessing P until I get it right. Okay, I figured it out. I, sorry, I, I thought. So it's the placement that's the same. I thought it was characters right i thought one out of seven meant one of those characters is correct but you're talking about the placement so so warring has three letters that are the but warring and mounted don't share any characters collect letter in the correct spot but Y'all, hold on. So, mounted is M O U N T E D. Warring is W A R R I N G. Neither of those share any characteristics. So, how am I supposed to use that to find the password? Huh? This is on PC, but I don't want to mod it. The real password has one character from mounted and three from warring. So it shares characteristics from both? Okay. So like ravages because it has A and E and A. No, I don't think Ravages is right. Roaming, maybe? I, I'll try roaming. Oh, okay. I think I'm starting to understand it. Thank you for your patience with that. I, huh? Disengage lock? Now what? Is that it? Safe? What safe? Where is there a safe? I didn't want to steal. Oh! I thought... <laughs> I thought the terminal would have, like, a secret diary or something. I didn't want to steal people's stuff. That's why my karma was bad. 
Okay. Now I understand. I don't want to do that. I don't want to steal your stuff. Yeah, some do have diaries. That's all I wanted was to read someone's dirty secrets. <laughs> I'm just nosy. I'm also bummed though. Victor didn't tell me anything. It, it felt like Victor was going to give me some super useful information. Um, and it, he was just like, hello, I am Victor. And I was like, huh? Oh. Wow, I can't make none of that. Oh, I gotta talk to Sunny because I have things for Sunny. Oh, wait. Is Sunny outside or inside? Sunny. Oh, I have to pick up the other thing first. I'm a dingus. Invading people's privacy is worth it, but stealing their possessions isn't? Yeah, exactly. Because I just want to know. <laughs> oh, thank you, Cap. I forgot where I was going. I'm real good at forgetting things. <laughs> yeah, learning the hacking mini game was worth it. Now I get it. I was like that. I don't know. Maybe it, it explained it well and I just wasn't understanding. But the oh God. There's something red that just popped up on my mini map. Oh, there's a lot of red. Hello? Ew! Why are there so... <laughs> so gross it's so ugly and i didn't even murder it i hate this oh you're such an ugly i don't have enough action points oh ew 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 what the hell ew <laughs> is that one alive God dang it! Oh no, it was a it was a crit hit. Okay. Um. Ew, I hate them. Oh, I'm detected. Oh god. Oh god. Fifty fifty. That's fine. I don't need statistics on my side. I gotta reload. Here. Not moving. Oh god. <laughs> it's so gross. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Thank you, Scotty. Ugh. Why do they have to have bugs? Ugh. I hate it. Ugh. Ugh. Don't shit. Don't say that. God, hey, don't say that. <sighs> oh, what the hell? Oh, it's just a bird. What the hell is detecting me? I guess the crow detected me? Gross. Oh, hey, this is where I was buried. Distinctive cigarette butt. Interesting. Snow globe for good springs? I don't want to take that. That's on a grave marker. Gross, I hated that. That was the worst. I don't want to have to do that again. No, stop! Ew, Diabelle! No, don't say that! Don't say that! Oh my god! Uh, heh, heh, uh, heh. <laughs> I hate it. If you get a shovel, you can rob the graves? That is extremely upsetting. <laughs> I don't want to stoop to grave robbery. Grave burial is a very important ritual. Is there any way for me to sprint? Oh, here's how I can see myself. Okay. How do I sprint? I guess I don't. Grave robbing, grave robbing. 
<laughs> no, I'm a little do-gooder in this playthrough. I could always do another one where I'm a psychopath, but I don't want to do that. Is this the right quest? Is this taking me to Sunny? No, where is this taking me? Oh no! Sunny's at the campfire, okay. Alright, y'all. Learning about bloatflies is making me extremely grossed out. Uh, and I hate it. A lot. I hate it a lot. Um, I'm gonna save here. And I'll have to pick this up again next time. Thank you for joining me for Fallout. I'm sorry I'm, s I'm bad at this.